This is a level 2 functional skills math paper from High Field. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Which of these numbers is equivalent to 73%? So 73% percent means out of 100. So this is 73 out of 100. Just like 73 pence in a pound because there are 100 pence in a pound, so that's going to look like 0 0.73. It's also like dividing 73 by 100. So that's this one here. So the key thing to remember, percent, pence, they both start with P and they're very similar because they're all, or they're both out of 100. Calculate 1,000 divided by 8 plus 2 squared. Write the answer in the box below. So we've got division, addition, we've got squaring, we've got brackets. So the key thing here is bit mass. Do we have any brackets? Yes, we do. So we need to do brackets first. So what does this mean? I'll rewrite it here as it is. Now focusing on the brackets, 1000 divided by, within the brackets we have 8 plus 2, which is 10, and then we have that squared. So we've done the brackets. Do we have any indices, which is powers? Yes, we do. That's squared here. So we're going to do that before we do division. So 1000 divided by 10 squared. That is 10 times 10, which is 100. So now we have 1000 divided by 100. So 1000, if you divide it by 100, that means knocking off two zeros. So that gives us 10. Calculate the value of angle X in this isosceles triangle. Show you working out and write the answer in the box below. Isosceles triangles, they have two equal sides and also, as a result, two equal angles. So you can see these two lines in here. That means that this side is the same length as this side. Now, the sides we don't need in this particular case because we're looking at the angle. So, as you can see, these marks in here, the markings, tell you that these two angles are the same. So we know this angle is 32 degrees, so this one is 32 degrees as well. Now we need to work out angle X. We know that in total the angles within a triangle will add up to 180. So we've got 32 and 32, which gives us 64. If we take away 64 from the 180, it should give us the value for angle X. So 180, take away 64. So we're going to take away 4 from the 0, which means we've got to borrow 1 from the 8. So that becomes a 7, 0 becomes 10. 10 take away 4 gives us 6, 7 take away 6 gives us 1, 1 take away 0 is 1. So 116 degrees. Highfield Vets. You're working for Highfield Vets. 
During the first week, Highfield vets treat 72 cats, 63 dogs, 54 birds and 51 small mammals. What fraction of the total animals treated are cats? Give your answer in its simplest form, show you're working out and write the answer in the box below. So the question is what fraction of the total animals treated are cats? So we're focusing on the cats, that is 72 of them out of the total, which is 72, at 63, at 54, at 51. 2 and 3 make 5, 4 and 1 make 5. So 5 and 5, that is 10. So 0 down and 1 is carried over. Now 5 and 5 make 10. 6 and 7, that is 13. So, and the 10 that we had before, that is 23, and the 1, that is 24, so 240. So 72 out of 240. Now we can simplify this further. We can divide both numbers by 2. If you have 72, that gives us 36. You can even go through the long division. So how many twos that fit into seven? That is three of them because three times two is six. We have one remaining. How many twos into 12? That is exactly six, so 36. 240, if we have 240, that's gonna give us 120. We can keep going. We can still divide by two. Let's give this a go. So 36 divided by two is 18, 120 divided by 2, that is 60. Now, 18 and 60, we can still divide by 2 if we want. So, that is going to be 9, and that is going to be 30. Now we can divide by 3. 9 divided by 3 gives us 3. 30 divided by 3 gives us 10. Can we go any further? 3 can only be divided by 1 and 3. So if I divide 3 by 3, it's going to give me 1. But I can't divide 10 by 3 to give me a whole number as the answer. So we're going to go with 3 tenths. On Mondays, Highfield Vets are open from 8am to 8pm. On Tuesdays, they open from 8am to 9pm. What is the percentage increase in opening hours from Monday to Tuesday? Show you working out and write the answer in the box below. So, from 8am to 8pm, that's 12 hours. We've got an increase by one hour so that is one twelfths so that's the increase as a fraction but we've got to work it out as a percentage so that is also one divided by twelve the fraction line means division so what we're going to do is one divided by twelve how many 12s fit into 1? That's 0. So, we've got 1 remaining. Because 0 times 12 is 0, so we still have 1 remaining. Now, we're finished with the whole numbers. So, we're going to put a decimal here and into the answer. Now, we can add zeros, one at a time. So, how many 12s into 10? That's still 0. So we have 10 remaining, or 10 carried over, and we're going to add a zero. How many 12s into 100? 
So 12 and 12, that gives us 24. So that's two lots of 12. Again, we're trying to get to 100. So 24 is quite low. So I'm going to do 24 add 24 rather than just 12. So that would be four lots of 12. 4 and 4 is 8, 2 and 2 is 4. So 4 lots of 12 gives us 48. 48 is about halfway through 100. So I could fit another 4 lots of 12. So I'm going to go 48 and 48, which is going to be 8 lots of 12. 8 and 8 is 16. So 6 down and 1 is carried over. 4 and 4 is 8 and the 1 is 9. So 96, that is very close to 100. So 8 lots of 12. What do we have remaining? So 100, take away 96. That leaves us with 4. So 4 remaining. Now again we can add 0. How many 12s into 40? That's the question. So 12 and 12, that was 24. 4 lots of 12 is 48, so that is higher. So we're going to try 3 lots of 12. So 24 add 12 should give us 3 lots. 4 and 2 is 6. 2 and 1 is 3, so 36. And then again we have 4 remaining because 4 to take away 36 gives us 4. So that was 3 lots. Add in a 0 and then again how many 12s into 40 and that is 3 remaining 4. As you can see this repeats itself so the 3 is recurring. So 0 0.08333 Three, that's one twelfth as a decimal, but we need to convert it to a percentage. Again, remember percent and pence. So we're looking for two digits like in money after the decimal point. So this is like eight pence something. So it's eight point three three percent just going to stop it there you could say 8.3 percent as well i'm going to write it like that 8.3 percent doesn't make any difference highfield switch shop you're helping at highfield switch shop a customer buys a bag of mixed sweets the bag contains 21 toffees, 10 mints, 4 jelly beans and 7 caramels. The customer shakes the bag and picks a sweet at random. What is the probability that they pick a caramel? Show you working out and write the answer in the box below. So caramel, that is 7 of them, out of the total. So in total we have 21 toffees, 10 mints, 4 jelly beans and seven caramels so adding these together seven and four that is eleven and the one that is twelve so two down and one carried over two and one three and the one four so seven out of forty two so we can divide both of the numbers by seven so we can simplify seven divided by seven gives us one 4 to 2 divided by 7 gives us 6. So 1, 6 would be the answer. You could write it as a decimal or a percentage and it should be absolutely fine. A box contains sweets that are either covered with dark chocolate or milk chocolate. There are twice as many sweets covered in dark chocolate than there are covered in milk chocolate. The sweets have different flavoured centres, strawberry, lemon and cherry. 
there are an equal number of each flavor. This diagram shows options of picking each chocolate and the flavor. Right, so we've got milk and dark. So that is what they covered with. So one third milk, so two thirds will be dark because it's twice as many. And also, if you take away one third from one, it's going to give you two thirds. Also, we have an equal number of each flavor. So within milk, one third will be strawberry, one third lemon, one third cherry, and also within dark, one third will be strawberry, one third lemon, one third cherry. The question is to complete the diagram with the probability of each branch. So here we're going to write the probability of picking strawberry but being covered in milk chocolate. So one third times one third, which is one ninth. And then lemon, again, one third times one third, which is one ninth. Cherry, one third times one third, which gives us one ninth. Strawberry, covered in dark chocolate, that is two thirds times one third. Again, two times one, that is two, three times three, that is nine. Dark and lemon, again, that is two ninths. And cherry and dark, that is two ninths as well. They should all add up to nine. So one, two, three, five, seven, nine. Nine ninths or a whole. Now I use the diagram to find the probability of picking a strawberry flavour sweet with milk chocolate. So milk and strawberry, we've already worked it out and it was one ninth by multiplying one third by one third. Always when you using a probability tree you multiply when you go across, when you work out the probability of two different things or the combined probability. In this case, probability of being covered in milk chocolate as well as strawberry flavour centre. So one third times one third gives us one nine because one times one is one three times three is nine and this is the end of the first part